The term abandoning children refers to the act of leaving a child without any intention of returning or continuing to provide for their care. This action is generally seen as a form of child neglect and is illegal in many jurisdictions due to the severe emotional, physical, and developmental risks it poses to the child. Abandonment can occur in various contexts, ranging from physically leaving a child in an unsafe place to more subtle forms such as failing to maintain contact and support. The reasons behind child abandonment are complex and can include financial distress, lack of support, mental health issues of the parent, or societal pressures. The consequences for abandoned children can be severe, including psychological trauma, attachment disorders, and challenges in forming healthy relationships. Societies often have systems in place such as foster care, adoption services, and social welfare programs to care for and support abandoned children. Additionally, there are preventive measures and interventions designed to support at-risk families to prevent the abandonment of children. When Dima was born, he was diagnosed with a hydrocephalus, commonly known as water on the brain. And his parents made a cruel choice when they saw him for the first time. Leaving the hospital, they moved forward without a second glance. Dima's journey started at an orphanage for disabled children in Krematorsk, located in eastern Ukraine as reported by the Ukrainian newspaper Fakti Omfer Commentari. After four years, Dima was still struggling with basic tasks, such as using utensils or walking. The orphanage staff had concerns about his future development. It was quite surprising that he managed to survive for such a long time and was even able to speak a few words. Little did anyone know, this was just the beginning of Dima's journey to astonish the world. In early 2014, war broke out in eastern Ukraine, putting Dima in a new danger because the home was in the middle of an area that was being fought over. With all the other children at the orphanage, Dima had to evacuate and find safety elsewhere. Throughout an entire week, the children and staff had to move around without access to water, food, or medicine. Last, a group of separatists observed that some of the children were on the brink of death, prompting them to take the children to the Ukrainian authorities. The children found themselves in a hospital in Kharkiv, the country's second largest city. Upon meeting Dima, the doctors were visibly moved, struggling to contain their emotions. His efforts to flee the war had greatly affected him. According to the doctors, Dima's chances of survival in the war-torn country were slim. Hefty writes that they were so desperate that they asked a priest to pray for a family to adopt the boy. Finally, the priest's prayers were answered. First, Dima and his friends found themselves in a new orphanage. After a few weeks, a couple named Ernest and Ruth Chavs came all the way from Vermont in the United States. They came across news of the conflict and felt compelled to provide a loving home to a child from the affected area. Upon laying eyes on Dima, Ernest and Ruth felt an instant connection and knew they wanted to welcome him into their family. They made the decision to welcome Dima into their family, and the young boy's life took a turn for the brighter. Ernest and Ruth had already adopted seven children and were seasoned in the parenting role. Moreover, their extensive experience with the required paperwork enabled Dima to swiftly join them in Vermont. Two months later, Dima embarked on a journey to his new home in the United States with his adoptive parents after their visit to the orphanage in Ukraine. Dima recently adopted a new name, Zebediah Chavez. Living with his new family was truly the greatest blessing for the young boy. Upon his arrival in Vermont, he immediately started making progress. Shortly after arriving at his new home, his parents were delighted to find out that he could eat with a spoon. One year later, the boy who departed Ukraine on the brink of death had transformed completely. Zebediah is now able to communicate verbally. He is proficient in both Ukrainian and English languages. He is able to stroll effortlessly. American doctors looked at Zebediah's brain and are sure that the disease didn't do much damage to it. It is believed that there is a high likelihood that he will develop normally. What an inspiring fighter! Zebediah's journey ahead involves multiple surgeries, but his incredible strength and determination to survive have inspired many.
As of 2022, he definitely brings a smile to our faces. He has grown into such a handsome young man. It's truly astonishing to see the transformation in the boy Ernest and Ruth adopted.